Bonnie. You're Bonnie. Bonnie? Ziarko Hoffman. Bonnie Ziarko Hoffman. Now, what did you do with your kids? They're at grandma's. They're at grandma's? Oh. All right. Did you did you go to the game or? Uh... Yes. yes. Not just getting killed. That's why we're leaving now. So, are you going to go home or are you going to? No, we're going out to the bar. Oh, you're going to the DTL? Well, I think we're all going to be over there, maybe later on. We'll get, we'll get some shots. Now we're looking at the site of the 1973 Jell-O fight and pie eating contest, which happened during Flunk Day. And as we all remember, the grass in this one spot here was killed by the Jell-O that was left from the Jell-O fight. Who is this? What? Please identify yourself. Jan Thompson. Jan Thompson? Yes. Yeah. What are you doing here? Homecoming. <laughs> is this homecoming? Uh-huh. Now, are you sure this isn't 10 years ago? No? <laughs> and who's your partner? This is my roommate, Susan. Your roommate, Susan? Yes. Let me figure out how to do this camera. Now, where, where'd <laughs> Susan go? Susan? I, oh, she didn't go to Knox. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, have, how are the people that you knew? Are they still the same? Basically. Are they basically the same? Down. How are they different? Oh, well, they have a lot more kids. <laughs> <laughs> how many? Oh, God. Reader's got three. Uh, Lynn's got three. Jackie's got two. Cleo's has got two. Jeannie's got one and a bun in the oven. <laughs> and one in the oven? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so, um, um, so do you, do you have any kids? No, I'm not married. You're not married? No. And you look like you're happy about that. Oh, yeah. Do not want kids. That's very good. Now, now tell me, what are the fa the things that you're famous for <laughs> at Knox? Uh, the Teak Drinking Olympics. <laughs> oh, okay, I remember that. Yeah, being mm -hmm. a diehard tried out. Uh, yeah. 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 I used to play cards with, with all you guys. Yeah, well, I used to play lots of cards. I mean, folks. gals. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very good. How was the game? Oh, they're getting slaughtered. <laughs> What's the score? It was 40 to 7 at half. 40 to 7 at halftime. Should I go over there and see people, or are they all leaving? There's quite a few people there, but a lot of people are leaving. <laughs> That's a heck of a homecoming now, isn't it? Uh-huh. They're supposed to play a team they can beat to look good for the alums. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should get uh, Rod Sprecher back here again. Who's that? <laughs> Remember Rod Sprecher? No. Rod Sprecher was, uh, let's see, his freshman year, he quarterbacked the the freshman team game against Grinnell 76 to nothing. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know Knox ever won a game like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. He was my roommate. I really knew all about it. Ah. Well, Janet, it's been nice talking with you. It's nice seeing you. Seeing you. Yeah. Thank you very much, and we'll maybe we'll see you over at Hojo's tonight. Okay. Thank you. Fifty-four to seven. Do you believe Fifty-four it? Fifty-four to seven. That's what the score is right now. So you're a dejected grad. A dejected grad right now. Oh no. Things haven't changed though. <laughs> Things haven't changed since we were here. <laughs> no kazoo band. Yo, have you changed? Thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, don't laughs> Thank you. We'll see you tonight. Okay. Dave. I just stumbled across uh, Mr. Blanga, Robert Blanga, if I remember correctly, one of my uh, English teachers and teacher of uh, one of our favorite courses, which most of us took. Uh, so uh, tell me about your recurrent or memories of 10 years ago. Ten years ago was just about when we were starting up the freshman precept. In fact, uh, I was in Chicago in 74 and 75. I was reading The Lord of the Rings aloud to my daughters. And just as Frodo appears to topple into Mount Doom, my daughters started to scream. And the phone rang. It was Mike Kroll saying that a new program had been voted in, the preceptorial. Two weeks later, we went up to Dewey Moore's farm in Wisconsin. Uh, five or six of us, Brett Smith, George Ward, Mike Kroll, Dewey, and myself, and uh, worked out the pilot program, the preceptorial, which I'm happy to say is still going strong. So, uh, who have you run into today? 
celebrating our 10 year anniversary, whether or not they're from 74. Well, I can't tell who's from what class. Uh, <clears throat> ran into Linnea Larson. Oh, yeah. And my uh, youngest daughter is named after uh, Linnea, Kate, after two Knox students, Katrin Curley and Linnea Larson. Oh, yeah. Keith Curley. And then um, Sarah Arnold is staying with us. She's down from Milwaukee. She was, ah, boy, I can't remember, class of 79, maybe. Uh-huh. Well, I guess uh, you, you were gone part of the time during uh, our class, so you, you may not remember some of this. Well, I was gone and uh, not very good on day 73 and 74, and then s the Newberry Library, and then 75 and 76. You feel like a girl's there. I'm like, oh, I did. Well, it's good to see you here. We're glad, to, we're glad to come down and see you. It's nice to see you again. Come back and see you in another 10 years. Okay, great. We're, we're here to uh, see uh, the Bernardis. Yes. Mr. and Mrs. Bernardi, our class, uh, 44. 49. Oh, 49. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait! Look at the cameraman. Yeah, you have to have more gray hair than you have now. Yeah. And uh, behind us we have uh, uh, Don Bernardi, who was Can't class, away from the game. class of 73. Right, hey Dave. Yes. Dave. The other Dave. <laughs> yeah, and there's, there's another Bernardi here who doesn't want to get his picture taken. Where is he? Right behind you. He's one of his Thank you. Camera shy. Yes, well, uh, I happen to be a professor of geology at the University of Colorado, and we're doing a seismic study for uh, deep well holes in the Galesburg area. We feel that there's one in this area. Giving a lousy interview if somebody comes and pulls you out from under it. <laughs> but Dave Bernardi is resilient. He's on his feet again, and he's ready to talk some more. <laughs> no, I'm done talking. <laughs> What am I supposed to say? Absolutely, whatever you want to say. I can see Doyle. Get him, Bob! Yeah. It's it's, it's, it's like uh, any other Saturday afternoon watching football and watching Knox lose. I'm afraid. It's just like old times in that sense. But you go to have a soft voice again. So so. Is this going to be your first interview you've ever given while you were squatting? Yes, I, I must admit this is the first interview I've ever given while I was squatting. <laughs> you seem to have perked up, Usher, from last night. Uh, you don't. Well, 3 o'clock in the morning is a long way to be Maybe I should tell my David Kennedy joke. You heard that David Kennedy was buried at sea? Why? Teddy was driving. Oh, God. What are you going to show these anyway? Well, you want me to show them tonight? Yeah. Bring it over to the well, Howard I Johnson. I might just do that. I'm sure. Who else have you interviewed? Oh, I don't know. I'm just grabbing. Who teaches it? I didn't know about it. What? <laughs> you were there. Well, welcome, welcome. Hey! Tonight. Okay, there's Rich Gray. He's also a sneak attack on Rich Gray. Hello. Hello, Rich. How are you? Real good. All right. Now, do we have, uh, who do we have here? We have Len Berg. Len Berg. Right. We have Len Berg. And uh, we have a wife. Rich Gray and his daughter Christina. And daughter Christina. Nice to meet you. How old's your daughter? 13 months. 13 months. And she's already like soda pop, huh? Yep. Teacher on the streets. No, not really. They just grab it to do it. Well, congratulations on making it back to homecoming. Having a real nice time. Except for the sunglasses, you don't look like you changed a bit. Well, my hairline's, my forehead's gotten larger, but not too much. Does that mean you know more? You know more stuff? No, now, it means my you hair is falling out. Talk with Lindbergh. That's two names. That's not one. It's not as in Charles Lindbergh. It's strictly as in Lindbergh. Lin oh, oh, as in Lindbergh. Lindbergh. That's right. that, now that was a good joke. In there. What would you like to know, David? Uh, whatever you have to know. How long does it take? However, however does it take? Kind of. Class of '74 on here, coming back for the first time in six years, back to the wonderful college here, which is being decimated by this uh, Grinnell football team. So, are you proud or tired? Um. Proud of the school, but tired of a dreadful loss like this. <laughs> uh, 
Well, the, see, the, the problem is we don't have a kazoo band anymore to uh, guide us through our misery. That's true. Now the now at least when the kazoo band was flat, they picked up some of the flatness of the football team. Now the football team has simply absorbed all of the flatness. Yes. So that's the bad part. Yes. Definitely the bad part. So, um, um, so, so how do you feel now as compared to when you got out of here? Employed. Having some certainty about that. Still feeling very much part of the Knox family. Yes. And wishing that I had a great deal of money to be able to get back to the school to be a magnificent benefactor of the school. Very good. Now, who is your favorite person that you've run into here today? Good grief. Wilbur Pillsbury. Oh, the pills here. Yes, yes, the economics, economics and business administration professor. Now, he's responsible for you being where you are today? Well, at least he can accept part of the blame, yes. I'm there. He taught the computers on there, which is good. Well, and tolerated my sleeping in class. So he was very good about that. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll see you at the party tonight. And yes. And we're glad to have you here for our, uh, for our tenure late senior. Hello, week. Sandy. Hello. <laughs> we're going to get you whether you like it or not. I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> now, is this, uh, is this your uh, husband here? This is my husband, Ted. Right. Your husband, Sandy's Ted. Well. Did he go to Knox, too? 72. Oh, 72. <laughs> well, if you want, we can make this a class film about 1972. No, no, it was 74. is much better. <laughs> well, that's great. So where, where are you living? Um, in Brookfield. In Brookfield. Uh -huh. Oh, so you keep in touch with the folks. Oh, yes. We were here two years ago for his homecoming, and we're here again. So uh, the, by coming back, does that mean that, uh, that you'd like to be back here more often, or, uh, or what? I enjoy coming back. Yeah. Yeah. We were hoping that the football team would win this time, but... Things haven't changed. With the score the way it is, you know, it's about the same. So what's your favorite Knox memory? I don't know. My favorite one, huh? I think playing cards with some of my old friends. Now, who are those? Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, who, now, who's the, now, who do we have here? Debbie Brown. Debbie Griffin Brown. Debbie Griffin. What class? 75. 75. Okay, well, we're do, I guess we're doing a multi-class film now. <laughs> and this is uh, your little person here? Yeah, this is class of 04. <laughs> class of 04. This is Paul. Can you wave, Paul? Can you say hi? Huh? Can you, you say hi? <laughs> Can you throw the football at the lens right there in the camera? Can you say hi? Nope. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good well, it's good, Dave. it's good seeing you, Sandy. Now, what's your worst memory of Knox? Football games when we always lose. <laughs> no, I think my... The hard calculus test. I think that's the worst. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, I remember you com uh, complaining You're about your calc tests and freaking out before them. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do remember that. <laughs> no, calculus was always challenging, but but fun, but fun in the long run. I still have a few nightmares of it though, every now and then. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, and it's nice to see another happy Knox couple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. We're playing the ball carrier. Get a three, it'll be second and seven. Knox has just scored a touchdown, and our cheerleaders have found something to cheer about. We can be so gently savage. We are ready. Get up and keep it steady. The mystery guest of today. We'll see if we can figure out who the mystery guest is before he signs in. What is your name, sir? I'm David Gasaki. David Gasaki. Yes, it is David Gasaki. He looks differently when you see him in a normal perspective. Welcome back. What does your t-shirt say? Yes, I know you, David. I've known you quite well. What are your favorite memories for Knox? Well, Flunky, I guess. Did that apply to you specifically in any particular way? Not really. Not really? You mean you just enjoyed the idea of Flunk Day? 
thought it was nice. It was nice scooping off for a day. Well, but I didn't think. I thought back then you liked to uh, to study a lot. Well. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, uh, uh, tell us what you're doing now. I'm a legal aid attorney in Joliet. In Joliet. Do you, um, um, do you have any other friends from Max who live in Joliet? No, I'm told there's one, one alum from, from our class who is in Joliet, but I don't know who it is. Okay. What do you like to do? What are your favorite things to do now? I mean, we all knew what you like to do when you were at Knox. What, what's your favorite pastime now? Well, I'm, uh involved in a number of political campaigns this year. Are you for Reagan or Mondale? For Mondale. You're for Mondale. We've got a lot to talk about, mister. <laughs> Are you uh, working with Norm while, uh, while you're here? Uh, well, I vis visited him. Uh -huh. uh, they are going to pitch in for the campaign and help out Christy. For the county board race? Yes. I just found out she was running for the county board yesterday night. I, I wasn't aware of it. <laughs> Well, you can, maybe you can come on down and, and give them a hand. We have just run across Annie Reinecke. I believe that's, that's still your last name? Yep. That is. <laughs> Will it always be your last name? Always. 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 You're dedicated. Yes. That's very good. So, uh, what, now what's your uh, favorite Knox memory? Favorite Knox memory? Um, oh, gosh. Um, passion. <laughs> yeah, right. Turning my brains out and dealing with college professors. And it's also my worst next memory. <laughs> <laughs> Would you care to uh, illuminate on that? No, no. No. I still, uh, statute of limitations hasn't run off yet, I don't think. Uh, so where are you living now? Richmond, Virginia. Yeah. I'm a librarian, and I'm a mother of a two and a half year old. Congratulations. Boy, Jesse. Very good. Name. I bet he's a smart little person. He's brilliant. He's genius. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's Knox <Max> material. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that, that means that overall the, your Knox experience was uh, good enough that you would want to have Jesse come? Yes. I really think the small, <laughs> the smallness of this place. <laughs> small mindedness. <laughs> No, I, I have a lot of fond memories of Knox. I think of it often. I think it really shaped my life. So if you had to do it all over again, would you come to Knox again? Yep, I would. Very good. Would you, uh, had to do it all over again, would you come again and watch the football game that we just lost? Uh, that was like 10 years ago. I mean, you know, things haven't changed. <laughs> <laughs> we were never a winning team, were we? Um, sometimes. I was more a soccer fan. I You're was a soccer groupie, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Annie. It's good to see you, and it's good to see you doing good and all that good stuff. Okay. So we'll see you in another few years. Okay. And here they go. Yeah, they're getting nice and loosened up. Yeah, they're, they're pretty loose. Are all the soccer over. players there? Uh, yeah. Oh, they want well, yeah. yeah, they are there. Yeah, they're there. Yeah, they're there. Yeah, they're there. Let's go. So we're going to the <laughs> DTL? Lounge. Downtown Lounge. Hey, it's always been the place. Did anybody show up to your Goodbye, game? Chuck. Did anybody show up to Founders Lounge? Not yet. The guy, I don't think the game's quite over, but it's... Not over. It's over. Oh, it's is over. it over? What was the score? Uh, 300,000. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, we're going across a hotbed of 1974 graduates, and they're posing on the stairs just like they did a few years back. Uh, we'll pan across here from left to right and, and uh, have these folks introduce themselves. Hello there. Bill Pizzolis. Bill Pizzolis. Camel 3. You may remember the dogs. I forget where I go. Pets. The hair machines. <laughs> and other miscellaneous activities. Yes. And as we go across, we have John. Sinyowski. Hi. With sunglasses. Without sunglasses. <laughs> and? Mary Lou Sinyowski. Mary Lou Sinyowski. And? Jeff Mangers. Jeff Mangers. <laughs> My gosh, we're starting. Uh, yeah, matter of fact, uh, we're going to have more people show up here. I have a feeling. Yeah, Dave. And Dave Clark. David Clark. McCall House. McCall House. The former McCall House boy. I remember the infamous McCall House gang. That's right. Yeah, they were kind of like the uh, ADE sub chapter. ADE <laughs> sub chapter. <ADE. laughs> yes. <laughs> so we've got to find out what the collective favorite memories of Knox College are.
Drugs, drugs, drugs. Yeah. 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 It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> would you do it again if you had to? Oh, the sure. drugs would do it again. Well. <laughs> <laughs> what about the rest the of it? Rotten. Oh, what? I don't know, Dave. Why was, oh, the, oh, why was the sex oh, rotten? Yeah, Dave, explain yeah. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, just read it. Get in there, get in there. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, we got somebody else coming. He was an important part. Introduce. Introduce yourself. Big chill. Hi, I'm Mark Stefanik. And I always thought that Dave Oster had the biggest dawn in the A.S. The biggest what? Because I used to take showers with him, I know. Dawn. D-O-N-G. Oh. The biggest dawn in the A.D.E. house. <laughs> do you have put, do you have And what I'd like to know is if Dave, if Dave puts this movie out for print, will I get royalties on this? Because I know he's been selling Bye Bye Birdhouse, and I wrote and directed it, and I haven't gotten a cent for it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Actually, an asshole. to set the record straight, I've made about $5 off of it. <laughs> I'll take 25%. <laughs> okay, I'll pay, I'll pay after the interview. <laughs> Would you like that in greenbacks or in, in uh, investment funds? I think I'd like it in nickels. In nickels? Oh, yeah. All right. Just so you don't waste it playing Pac-Man. <laughs> this is great. What else have you guys been doing? Sitting here on the stairs, man? Talking about drug sex and rock and roll. Sure. I thought his memories of They were tough years, 70s. But we made it. I yeah. remember his revolution. We're all into our brokers and cash accounts now, so it was okay. The honor policy was pretty good, too. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like that. Turn. Turn your back on the camera. <laughs> Are you, are you through, Mark? Yeah, I've, I've had enough. You, you, you've had all you can take? Now we have to find out what the collective worst memory of Knox is. I don't remember any of the bad things. The food was pretty bad. We're talking all I see sidewalks in the winter. The women. The women. The women? The women of Knox College. Yeah, we had they to say their money down. <laughs> so, uh... What brings you all back this weekend? This year? you're looking for more. Are you more Tiffy or Muffy? <laughs> you're looking for more sex and rock. You look like Tiffy or Muffy. There's Tiffy and Muffy right here across the football field. Tiffy, no, no. Tiffy and Muffy and Muffy dinner. You need purple hair. And I so want to be Tiffy and Muffy. <laughs> Mark, they're at dinner. We could meet Tiffy and Muffy. We meet Tiffy and Muffy at the big banquet. That's why we came to Knox for the weekend. Meet Tiffy and Muffy. Yeah. You got purple hair. You mean that's why you came back to Knox? Yeah. It's the only reason I came back. Who's Tiffy and Muffy? They're in the cafeteria. Why don't you go to the cafeteria? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to go? Want to go to the cafeteria or meet Tiffy and Muffy? Looks Actually, like class of 1888 is Tiffy and Muffy. Class of 80. Well, we were just, I was just in the cafeteria not too long ago. Look for the purple And I, and I had to force the lady into an interview. Okay, gang, thanks a lot. And we'll see you. We'll see you at the party tonight. Friday Are you gonna sing a song? Oh, <laughs> now what was it? Need another joint. I know, right? What was it? The fall out song that you guys all sang? I can see me. Yeah. Sure. This is all this man. We have a senior movie that never made. That was never made. Class of '74. What was it? The 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 call out song that you guys sang? Sing the call out song. Better than the what song? The call out song. Hey Dave, what was that McCall house? We see some TV sets to make our racetrack bets. We get the best women to cool our jets. We'll pimp our sisters out, they'll never scream or shout. They'll satisfy your need for a bit of steam. That's, that's class. We're the McCall house boys. And when we're stoned and blitzed, we're on the make more tits. And when your mother's looking well, <laughs> I don't know the rest. <laughs> Yay! It was great, Dave. It's a mini video tape. All right, I want great. food. Nice. Let's go yeah. eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 74, theoretically. Now we have JF, who is not class of 74, but he probably wishes.
wishes he was. John F. Kennedy. And we have Dave Novus. Dave Novus, class 74. What's your, uh, what's your favorite Knox memory? My favorite Knox memory is the night I got lavaliered to John. Well, we got to go get the car. That's the first step. How come I didn't know about that? We get calls right here. They're imposters. They're not going to break up. And later I got pinned to uh, Don Bernardi. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Had a very and you had to get a surgeon to take you apart? Well, I'm starting to get mad here. And what's your, uh, what's your worst Knox yeah. memory? Yeah. My worst Knox memory probably is being in this film. <laughs> I was, I was so is that why you came back to be in this lousy film? Yeah. Yeah. I've been coming back every year now, waiting to get on camera. Will we be getting residuals? Yeah. Residual what? Where's money? Black? Do we get paid for this? Or? <laughs> There's no money? What? Hey, this, no isn't, money. Wow. Yeah, this isn't hey, Jamaica. Yeah. No money. No. Hey. hey. Who has a mind like a steel trap? Uh, I don't know. Nobody that I know now escapes. No. We're going to run across to the Jeff Combs. This is the Michigan Prince of Land. We're having a grand time here at the 74 reunion. We're having a splendid time, wouldn't you say, Rich? It's all happening now. I, it's about to happen, I think. It's all happening. Of course, we're just about to eat dinner, right? Well, I'm telling you, I'm looking for Tom Jackson. <laughs> yes, the doctor would definitely be a good person we to see. We definitely want Tom Jackson to show up here. That's the we only reason that we made this trip. We want to know what the doctor is doing and where he is. I mean, that's the only reason I came here. There should be a connection. He joined the circus, I think, but that, that, that's the last we've heard of. Last I knew, he was working in the boiler room of a <laughs> naval vessel in San Diego and that's right. writing a novel about his compatriots. And they were all trying to be nice to him because they didn't want to be <laughs> they didn't trust him. badly of him. They didn't trust him. That was he, had that period. he was in the class of 74, although I don't think he was a graduate. He would have graduated, but I think he flunked out because he failed to crack a book or go to a class for two years. Uh, and uh, that might have had something to do with it. Yes, but he knew, he knew Mose Allison records. So, some pretty good jazz. Yes, and uh, who else are we looking for? Well, we've seen Halsey, who's yeah, Mark Hall, moved up to the country club set, uh, contracting his famous. Let's see. There are a few people on the faculty. That's right. I wish I would have seen them. I haven't seen any. I'm not working today. They probably all quit or uh, it's getting better paid. University. Yeah. No, I'll have to admit I agree. There, there has been a distinct shortage of faculty. I haven't seen any of the professors that I had when I was here uh, 10 years ago. Rod, Rod Davis is, is running around uh, this summer tonight. And uh, with a kind of long look on his face, I don't know, maybe his class didn't go real good today. He's got a lot of papers to read or something. <laughs> where's, where's Mike Kroll? Is it they are redoing the senior movie? Yes. Yeah, we're doing it because we didn't have a senior We didn't do it at the time, we're doing so now it right now. We're having our There's a good to friend of mine, this. Jeff France. Come on in here, Jeff. Who do we have? Who's coming? Jeff is right there with his little daughter Sarah. Well, when he comes over here, we'll grab him. We've noticed a lot of little people around here that weren't here 10 years ago. Yes, brand new human being. There, there, Jeff, bring Sarah in here. Would you like to have, have Sarah film for posterity on the 10 year reunion? She's cute. It's my daughter. You know Illinois got beat today? Yeah, but they beat the spread. <laughs> That's, That's all it is. <laughs> Jeff, this is going to be in the 10 year Sorry. film, you know. How you want to be remembered. By this point spread. <laughs> Can you get her to say hi? Can you say hi, please, Pumpkin? You're not going to get hi. Can you say hi? My definite favorite memory was living in a teepee with Tom Jackson and Rick Heiden. After a professor of ours, Phil Herring,
said that we couldn't go out and live in nature and survive the rigors of the academic world. So we decided to go out and live in a teepee in the middle of winter, and uh, after two weeks we decided that uh, Phil was right. <laughs> we couldn't do it. We moved back inside. That's my favorite memory. And your worst memory? Being married. Oh, really? That was Being a rough one. It was a rough one. These things happen when you're young. I'm, I guess I'm now I'm older and wiser. And here's, and here's my ex-roommate, Doug Rotello. Doug Rotello. Are Would we, like to are we live? Or live? So are we happening live? Are we going? Are we, are, we, are, we, are we over the waves right now? This live? So I'm talking to 40 million, 40 million people right here. Could you back up a little bit so we can get some more light on your face? That's a good question. What's my favorite memory of Knox? Probably having me as your roommate. No, having him uh, as my roommate. I don't know. There were so many favorite memories, it's really hard to say. I don't know. I have a lot of good memories about Knox. Freshman year, anyway. After that, it was downhill all the way. So, uh, does that mean that you wouldn't want to go back to do Knox again all over if you had a choice? If I had the choice to do Knox all over? Yeah. That's okay. You know, I'm not going to give you a grade on your answer. Either. No, I wouldn't do. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Have. I would have. You know, I wouldn't have. Does that answer your question? <laughs> it's not as straightforward as if we could. Okay, I would like to introduce a classmate of mine, Mr. Glenn Mulder, who I understand is a TV entertainer person. I don't know what station. Well, I I anchor a local origination newscast for Centel Cable Television in the Fox Valley area in Chicagoland. Now, uh, is my light all right? Yeah, yeah. Light okay. William Buckley is very good at this, but. Now, I, I, I didn't exactly graduate with the class of 74. I only spent two years at beautiful Knox College because it got too expensive after that. And it did take me 10 years to pay off my student loan. But somebody who did graduate is Mike Powell, who has moved out of the Galesburg and Illinois area altogether and is now, as I understand it, a proponent of a ra rather radical idea in upper Michigan politics. Do you really favor do you really favor the severance of the Upper Peninsula from the Lower Peninsula of Michigan? I definitely believe that the uh, state of Superior, which is the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, should be a separate state uh, and uh, have its own revenue sharing with, with the government. I think that uh, it should, as a matter of fact, some very diehard uh, proponents of this plan plan on blowing the bridge Across the Straits of That's right. That's right. They're, they're, they talk about blowing the Mackinac Bridge. Speaking from my own experience, I'm, I'm a person who's hydrophobic. I'm afraid of heights, and driving over that bridge was enough to make me think that it should be blown up, whether or not there was a political <laughs> issue involved here. That's, that's probably true. That's probably true. Especially in a high wind. Well, how many citizens would the state of Superior have? Three. Three? Three. <laughs> Only three, that's all. Does that include bears and raccoons or that's smoky? <laughs> the state of Superior. The state of Superior. Now, I'm wondering if this political issue is strong enough to transcend something that's of global importance. And of course, we're talking about the World Series. Is this enough for you to oppose the Detroit Tigers in the World Series because they're from the Lower Peninsula? Far from it. You see, the people from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan happen to think that the Cubs, who we all know are losers, you can't back them. So the only thing, the only people that they back is the Pack. The only team that is back 
fight in your part of the city. Are the Packers? So baseball doesn't exist in the Upper Peninsula. I mean, the Packers don't play baseball. Describe the climate of the Upper Peninsula. Ernie, why did you forsake the beautiful green plains of the Midwest and Illinois for the harsh desert, subtropical air of Corpus Christi? It was economics. Economics? Yes. There, when I got ready to go and practice, there was a recession going on here, and, a, uh, and that looked like it still had opportunity. What field are you currently practicing? I'm, I'm in pediatrics, and I'm in Corpus Christi, Texas. Pediatrics, uh, how many kids do you see in a given week? Uh, about 30 a day. 30 a day? Doesn't it drive you crazy? No. No, I, uh, they, they don't bother you as much when they're not yours. Do you have any children? I have two. Four, four, a boy four and a girl two. Yeah, uh, that would be the top to move down. Bill Bryan. 
No, Glad you can make it. Tell me your head. No, don't. He was always well, good at telling see. jokes. No, she tells the best no, jokes. No, I don't. What's you? I always tell who this is. Who is this? What? No. Well, you're next. Who's standing on the I'm trying to think of a joke. I'm trying to think of a joke. Really? I can't. Okay. I'm not going to do a joke next time. I'm Priscilla, and I don't like my last name, so I don't think. Priscilla, yeah. Two weeks, and I'm gonna just go home and sleep. That's terrible. You did better the first time. Why, Priscilla? Why did you come here this weekend? Um, to see what everybody was doing and see my friends. That's Siri. What is your what is your what is your concept of the Knox idea now, ten years later? and come bouncing from wall to wall back in the dorm and people would see me and I'd burst in through the doors and I'd scream what's the name of the game and everybody'd scream thumper and it finally got to where every time they saw me come they'd all scream thumper and that's weren't you the one that used to crush beer cans in your head? <laughs> yeah, oh, that was that <laughs> yes I did. And drink whole Quick, you of beer and win contests? Even all yes, the men? Yes I did. <laughs> and and Pat Miller, the Iron Man? Oh, it's a fancy car. Yeah, yeah. Used to look I, I, was, I was also an iron woman. Wait a minute. Was was Jim Cox in on the oh, uh, beer contest? I don't think I want to be. I don't think I want to be. I don't think it. Weird guy looked like well, I was a white. Um, I don't know. Uh, he would have been a good opponent. 
Now's the time. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you go around to be breaking. <laughs> 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 Woo! All right. If he didn't like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now is that why they call you Thumper? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's Humper. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just a kiss away. She's got a kiss away. Oh, we're going to have a double interview. This is the first double interview all day. We were we were going to be just We're trying to switch the brand new for I need a card to raise the feet. Okay, here are the feet. A close up of the feet. Now, those are the kind of shoes that have Velcro on them, right? Wally and Okay, go on to Mary. She has twins. Wally and Twin girls. Yeah, I three dogs, a cat, a house, a couple dogs, a couple dogs, a What are Reagan? A wood stove. Reagan, you know, a wood stove. Three wood stoves. Three wood stoves. Yeah. 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 Got a house insulated today. Uh, the plastic. Uh, the reason why you got a wood stove is that because you like to get fired up. No, they were with the house. What a really good blow. I mean, down the It came with the house. Yeah. No house and no insulation. Oh, yeah. Okay. No. 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 You need somebody that I need some help. Push. Hello. Help. help. I don't know you, but that's all right. That's all right. Anyway. What's your name? Mary. 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 I, Peter. I know that because you told me earlier. Well, I told you earlier. But that's not my fault because uh, uh, yeah, I can't talk to you. Can't talk to you. Can't talk to you. Alcohol has a uh, deteriorating effect on the brain. And uh, as many years of Max. Yeah, two kids, duck, cat, guinea pig, you know, yeah. run of the mill home. Vote Maybe for uh, Michael people. Keaton this presidential election. Uh, Michael Keaton. I think it'd be great. Who's I Michael Keaton? He's a black guy on Mr. Miles. Decline the word Fakio. Yeah, today. Fakira, Fakira, Fakiru, Fakare, Fakaru. Correct. No, it's Fakio, Fakare, Fakey Foctus. Fakey Foctus? Uh, um, yeah. Well, no, no, that's right. That's, that's no, not defining that's not it. Those are the different <laughs> forms of Fakio. You're, you're giving me the adjective form. Right. Yeah, okay, Fakio, right. Fakio, Fakiare, Fakiawe, Fakiato. That's the part to speak. Okay. And then decline it. I, I mean, uh, conjugate it for me. Could you? Fakio, Fakiace, Fakiate. Fakiate. Fakiemus, Fakiate. Fakiemus, Fakiate. Fakiate, yes. Hick, hike, hoke. Whiz, whiz, whiz. Hick, hick, hick. Hunk, hank, hoke. Hoke, hank, hoke. Hick, hick, hick. They used to break us up in the class. He, hi, hi. Quorum, harum, horum. He's, he's, he's. Hoes, hoes. Now, you're very good at that. But tell me what this is. Arma, warum, quat, cano, rayam, quit, primus, aboris. I'll translate it for you. My help of arms and men I sing. Greece before Troy under Pram. It's the start of the Aeneid. Mm. Oh. I had four years of weapon yes. ice cream. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can you tell me the story of the three little pigs in Latin? I can tell you the story of Stultus Agricola. Oh, yeah, the, the farmer. Stupid farmer. Hic Trace Pyrus Porcus? Yes. Yeah. Hic Trace Pyrus Porcus. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> You're not taping this. Yes. <laughs> If you would feel embarrassed, I would, I would be happy That's to erase right. it. You know what illegitimate non carborundum is? I forget. Where you down. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dave. Shall we, shall we officially start the interview? Hi, Dave. I, uh, Hi. What a surprise. Hello, Bill. <laughs> We, we are now officially starting this illegitimate uh, interview, or up until now, Ill illegitimate interview. Now, your name is? Bob Sanders. Oh, no, I know your name. No, your name. My name? Yes. Sorry. Which one would you like? Right. Judy Wright. Both. I would, uh, Judy Wright, that'll do. I'm legally right now Judy Colazzo, and I was in the class of 69 and the class of 74. Aha. Uh -huh. And your name is? Carolyn Cook. I'm from the class of 1979. 79? How'd you? 79. <laughs> oh, well, you're welcome to be a part of our flick. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> when you come to your uh, to your reunion, make sure you have them show the uh, class of 74 flick. Right. Mm -hmm. Since we never had one of our own. Oh, you didn't have one either? No. <laughs> Did... 
That's did why you? we're doing we our, our scene. We're doing like our scene. Seven movies. Movies. this year, you see. We couldn't find anybody dumb enough to go around with a camera up there. That's true. Busy. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember. They were all busy. I really, you know, um, actually, I really remember that after Bro White decided not to do it, there were people who wanted a class movie, but nobody was willing to step forward and do the work. That's true. This is much better. What are your favorite Knox memories? And your worst? Oh. A lot of favorite moments connected with the theater. Um, Favorite moment doing Rhymers of Eldridge. Unfavorite moment falling off the risers during dress rehearsal. Um, very favorite moment doing the effect of gamma rays on Man in the Moon Miracles. I remember reading that as a matter of fact. I'm amazed, I can't believe I... <laughs> <laughs> now which of those was your worst memory? Oh, when I fell off the risers uh, during dress rehearsal for Rhymers of Eldridge. Oh, okay, okay, um, yes. That wouldn't be a good memory. Yeah. I'd... Or when I fell out of my bikini Doesn't when I did really, Night of the Iguana. I don't know about that, but I think you don't remember falling off the risers, <laughs> do you? So technically it doesn't yes, count I as do. a memory. You no, I, memory. No, I... No. Oh, okay. I fell forward. On your head? No, I'm oh, my no. knees. <laughs> <laughs> I fell on my head years ago when we were children together. Uh -huh. Now, I'm going to put you on the spot. If, if you had to do it all over again, would you take a course from, some, from Mr. Cyber? Yeah, I would. <laughs> However, I would harass him a lot more than I did the last time. <laughs> and now I'm going to put you on the spot. If you had to do it all over again, would you still have a favor for a student? Oh, sure. Yeah. Junior's always fun to have. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, though. <laughs> <laughs> I would join out that she was there every day. <laughs> but I when I was there, that. it was what a lot of fun. <laughs> Okay, okay, now, uh, Mr. Seibert, I, I would like to ask you uh, one question. Of all of the, uh, just talking about the class of 74, what were your most profound memories of our group? You really want an honest answer to that question? Or you, uh, well, of course. Your, your group was uh, a very engaged class. Uh, by that, I mean, seriously, they were very engaged in social issues. They had a, a fairly... Uh, innovative and open attitude toward learning. Actually, I, I've always kind of liked the class of 74. Uh, they were good to have around. The classroom benefits from exchange, and this group was anything but shy. They were one of the more vocal groups after 20 odd years of talking to Okay, um, well, let's see. I'll tell you, I'm running out of questions here. Is, this, is there anything that you would like, want to get on the record? My favorite memory, since you didn't ask. Yo, I'm sorry. What's, what's your favorite memory? It has to do with homecoming. I just get, period. I get into a real soup of sentimentality here. You know, and, uh, I think they all blur back into a kind of uh, continuous pastiche of homecoming. But they just got progressively better as the years go on. I was just before. <laughs> really, I came back so I could show people those 40 pictures of my children. So do you enjoy them more as a student, or is that the student coming out and you're the teacher? Both, I think. I don't think there's a real valid distinction. Just a total lapsed person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a close-up of that. <laughs> yes, right. You got one, too? Yeah. What does your button say? It says, Siwash 84 Knox, and it's being held by Casey the Owl. Terrible name. <laughs> now we, we haven't talked to you on the. On the we haven't talked to you very much. Is there, is there anything you want to say? I'll never forget the night the city of Galesburg plowed my car under a snowbank. <laughs> oh, I remember that. You were really sputtering. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't supposed to park there. Were you? I was legal. <laughs> <laughs> Or having my tires have freeze we lived in. Up to your expectations, <laughs> Dave. Or, uh, this roving reporter has tracked down Norm Winnick at his place of, how, of uh, residency, and uh, I think we may all remember when Norm Winnick ran for Knox County Treasurer in, I believe it was 1974 or 75. And this year, Norm is going for a biggie. He's going for a state representative 
here in Knox County. We're just about to speak with Norm. Make a noise. Smile. I see the red light. And Those here is Norm Winnick. Whoops. Norm. What, what? happened to you? Oh, wrong Norm. Do we have Norm here? I don't know. Where? And, where? And where? <laughs> and, and it's a little boy. What's your boy's name? <laughs> I think I'm allergic to TV cameras. <laughs> and this is Norm. He's sitting in his future rose garden. Yes, yes. <laughs> so this is going to be a, a an early rose garden speech uh -huh. by our, uh, our representative candidate here. Yep. How are you going to win this election? Uh, by campaigning and getting more votes than the other guy. How do you propose to do that? Uh, by cheating. <laughs> It all depends on what the count says on election night. Have you uh, scheduled any debates yet? Uh, there are several scheduled, yes. Uh, how are you going to attack the opponent, or do you wish to disclose that at this early time? Uh, I will just attack him as being an incompetent buffoon. <laughs> do you know that he's an incompetent buffoon? Uh, I know that he will have a hard time proving that he isn't. <laughs> so now, how old's your little boy here? Eight months, almost. Eight months, and, and did we get his name? Uh, Benjamin Ike Winnick. Yeah, Benj Benjamin Ike Winnick, and of course your wife's name is Christy Ike. Ike, right. Right. It's on your license plate and your it's car. On her license plate. On her license plate. Right. Yeah. So what are, what are your uh, favorite Knox memories? Uh, lots of late nights playing cards. With who? Anybody that would uh, come in and join us. Where was this? Was, was this when you lived off campus? Or? Uh, usually in the suites. In the suites? Various suites. Was this when you were uh, early or like your freshman year and stuff? Freshman, or? sophomore, or junior, yes. Who did you really play? Who did you play cards with, cards with the most? Let's see. Oh, Fridals? No, no, no. We played in the suite. Uh, Peter was always there, Peter Bailey, and uh, Bob Hunt was there. And uh, Oh, yes, Bob Hunt. Right. Why didn't Bob Hunt come? Because uh, he's in Minneapolis. <laughs> well, well, what we can do is, is we can sell a copy of this video here. So uh, he's a professional in this business. He probably wouldn't be very impressed. Well, does it? If he, he wanted for a, a TV job, station in Minneapolis, if he a better job, you should regular prime time TV stuff. <laughs> I mean, this is only my first <laughs> time with a video camera. What do you expect? <laughs> okay, Dave. Now that you've spent all your time shooting this movie and kidnapping other people's babies, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> I had a wonderful time this weekend. It was really fun from the standpoint that I talked to a lot of people that I probably wouldn't have otherwise talked to, uh, just because we all know that clicks are clicks and we all hang out with our old friends the most. I apologize. There are a lot of people here I didn't get this weekend because um, I <laughs> got tired of carrying this dog on video recorder around. I have a knot in my shoulder that's about that high. <laughs> and uh, my favorite Knox experience, I don't know, I've got an awful lot of them. Believe it or not, I think my favorite Knox experience really was the classes, poli sci classes with, with uh, Cybert. And uh, he's, he's gone now, you don't have to keep buttering him up. Oh, no, no, I'm not buttering up. When I took poli sci, that was when uh, Nixon was coming apart at the seams. And we had some electrifying classes because everybody knew that we were right in the middle of a whole mess of history. And uh, it, was, it was one of the most exciting, exciting classes I ever had, I think. And I guess my, my other favorite, other favorite fun thing was the, uh, when they showed Mad 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 World at the uh, Orpheum, was it was at the West? Orpheum. Orpheum on Plunk Day. And uh, my worst experience was uh, when they tore down the AD house. That was after you left? No, no. Actually, uh, I was living in Galesburg. Remember, I moved back to Galesburg. All right. And um, uh, matter of fact, I visited AD house just a couple of days before they tore it down, and so I was real sorry to see Did you steal lots of good stuff out of it? Yeah, I got the uh, cutting board, and matter of fact, I, we still use the cutting board. Um, by the time I got there, just about everything else was gone. <laughs> if I had a chance to come back, to, if, if I had to do it all over again, I would definitely come back to Knox. Um, 
I don't know if I would take the same courses again, but I would. I think I would definitely come back to Max. And uh, what are you doing now? Um, holding a baby. Uh, <laughs> you get paid for this? <laughs> uh, the two fifty an hour, but I don't report it on my taxes. Oh, okay. Um, um, well, actually, I'm doing animated water fountain shows, which are you know kind of like dancing waters. And we're selling them to pizza parlors. Um, anybody who goes to uh, Richmond, Virginia, or Los Angeles, or Calgary, or Edmonton, Florida, Alberta. Um, I mean, you know, if, if you're up that way, you can go to a Bullwinkle's family food and restaurant and see a water show up there. That that's my invention. And uh, um, what else am I doing? Still playing musical instruments. And Built got, any hammer dulcimers lately? No, I don't have the time. And plus, people haven't really twisted my arm hard enough. Or, um, the reason why I don't have the time is because I'm busy rehabbing my house. I got a wife and two small little boys. But uh, this isn't one of them. No, no, no. This is this is a, an adopted kid. I've adopted him for a few months. He doesn't fall off. <laughs> and uh, um, I think. And this weekend, I really had a wonderful time. And the best thing I did all weekend was last night. I pulled an all-nighter and I didn't study. And I went to Dixie Cream Donuts at six o'clock in the morning, and I want to tell you they're great. But you'll probably flunk. It's too late to flunk. <laughs>